Good morning. We're back in the Planet Crafter and we're back on the Intense World. And since last time, I've been a little busy trying to get things set up. As you can see, we have the starts of a more permanent base towards the opening of the cave. And with everything, oh, past here, pretty much being defunct. We still have all of our industry towards the back here. And for the moment, I've left my oxygen seeds back here. But for the most part, that is just an unused part of the base. But of course, I've left the corridor alone because who knows what I'll do with it in the future. But inside here on the main floor, we have the start of our crafting station our tier two and three crafting tables it's not perfect i'm not really keen on the placement of this ladder but it'll do on this layer level layer i guess you could say that we have water oxygen food i moved the food growers over here and of food seeds for more growers. And up top, you can see I've placed my trophy case here, so I know not to go that way. But we have what's going to eventually be a small living compartment, a large living compartment, two more small living compartments, and another large loving compartment and a corridor that wraps around all of them and then comes down this way which will probably put something in here at some point we have our work table with our monitors so we could see that i need more power we can see our progress we are working our way towards lakes. So we have liquid water now. And is that a meteor storm? I mean, it'd be nice because we definitely need more materials. It is. Oh! And as you can see down there, we have our launching pad. Of course, we're not launching anything until this is over. <laughs> wow, nice view. That one looks like Well that was getting a little close. That was getting a little too close for comfort. <laughs> well it didn't smack us, so that's fine. Okay, so we've had a lot of nearby hits. Good, because that means we'll have lots of materials to pick up. Oh, and, and just for giggles, I put in a glass floor here so we could see down below. And no, that's not water. That's just the shadow of the base. I checked. <laughs> so, back down we go. And out because one of the things we really need like I said we need more power well in order to get some more power we need some uranium so I have sacrificed the last little bit of uranium I have left in order to make the very first rocket up 
an asteroid attraction rocket, which attracts uranium asteroids. So, there we go. The very first rocket. Five, four, three, two, ignition. And I think I could, would like to be somewhere relatively safe for this. Whoop, did I go down again? No, I didn't. I'm up. Okay. that all didn't go way up there. Well, we're going to find out. Nope, there's one out. Whoop, two strikes out, right out that way. Okay. That might be one of those that I want to go to one of the little tiny outposts for. And on our way out, we need to get some water. That, that one single signs. Oh, good. I've been wanting those. Okay. That one single water collector has been doing me very good so far. I was down to my last two uranium, so let's see how many we have gotten from sacrificing it. Oh, we've doubled it so far. I'm going to have to wait for some of this rubble to go away. Yeah, some of this stuff I can't get to just yet. That's fine. On the way back, we will grab some other materials. We do not need cobalt at the moment. I don't even need aluminum, but I'll grab it. Iron, on the other hand, we could use. Oh, and there's another strike right here. Okay, and I was sitting here worried that uh, all of them would land on top of the cave and I wouldn't be able to get to any of them. I guess I need not worry about that. Oh, I see another one over there. Grab all this iron. And... Oh, we made it back in time. Okay. So, uranium goes in here. Oh, I had more thoughts than I thought. Okay. But now I have 15 of them which means I just grabbed 10. Ah, one aluminum. I had room for exactly one aluminum. Probably gonna have to put another iron chest in. All right, let's go grab some more uranium.
and you can see we have water started down there. So, yay. Of course, that means I need to grow what? Algae? No, I don't grow algae. Eggplant to make the algae growers. I believe that's what it took. Duck in here for a second. Have another eight. Yeah, that base is still a work in progress. I'm not completely happy with certain things about it, but for the most part, it's coming along. I have no idea where I'm going to put the bio lab just yet. So I'm hoping to leave the space at the end of the biodome open for, like, attaching the tree farm butterfly domes, things like that. We'll see. Another 11. Brings me up to 21 of those. Well, even if I don't find another strike we definitely made out on that one. Let me get some water. Oh, wait, I didn't need to. I have so much water. Uranium. Over here. Well, that worked. Silicone is right here. Now I need get all this for one purpose. I need nine to make a uranium rod. Oh, but we are out of super alloy. I think there might be some left at that one rack. Alright, so what do we have on us? Meridium. An iridium rod. Some seeds. Which we can put in sorting for now. Super alloy. Okay, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uranium to make a rod. And aside from the rod, I need two water bottles, three super alloy. These things are all easy to acquire. Okay. Uh -huh. Did we have one fall in here? Oh, I must have fallen up there. It's too bad I won't, like, go up someday and find a bunch of uranium up there. I'm pretty sure it'll despawn after a while. But... Hey, I got fortunate. I got two of them fell in here. So that means I got 25 uranium out of that one rocket. I'd say I did really well. Come on. Oh, 
and we can go this way to get back. Like I said, I left this here. I really need to move that ladder because it's not so important right now. But I left this here so I could just run my way across. And since I need to be up on the top floor anyway, that works. Okay, so how's our terraforming going? 12.7. We're our heat's going up pretty good. Oxygen, barely moving. Although I have several flowers and a couple of grass growers. Biomass isn't moving very much either. Pressure's going up a decent amount. Okay, now. We have 188 kilowatt hours. I was hoping for a little more, but that will do for the moment. Tier 3 drill. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Two iron, two titanium, and two aluminum. I think we can manage that. Oh, and that's melted. Oh, very nice. Okay. Right. That's good. Now, I don't think I have any... Do I? Things to build. Ah, but I need osmium, which I don't have yet. Okay, a couple of things I want to make, but I need osmium. The bio lab's one of them. And ore extractors are another one. We can come out this way now. not the best environment to come out into, is it? But, that's fine. We are looking for a little bit of sulfur. And the sulfur fields are never, we're never very, what, hospitable <laughs> to start with. Oh, and more uranium. Now that I wasn't expecting. But I will take it. Aluminum. I mean, I could use one or two, but I don't absolutely need it right this moment. A little bit of space left. But I want to try to save it for this sulfur. Yeah, I know where I'm at. Because this loops around. And there's the sand falls. We're not going to today. Sulfur. Keep an eye on our air. use a 
<clears throat> food and the water shortly too. Oh. Excuse me. Water. Thank you. How many spaces do I have? Oh. Six. Perfect. Because we have osmium. Yay. And that was exactly the thing I was complaining about not having. Okay, we can't get a lot of it, but we might get just enough. Such a pretty cave. Sure. Up oh, there's number six. Now that we are full, we can head back to base. Well, that was fortuitous and definitely worth coming out here. We now have several sulfur and we have the osmium we need. I just realized we do not have a chest for any of this. So I guess we're going to put this under sorting for now. So another five uranium, which means that we ended up with about 30 from that strike. Well, that totally paid for itself. Oh, that does not need to go in there. These do, though. Now, what, what two things did I need to make? Or extractor. Where am I going to put that or extractor at? You know, I hadn't even considered that. Biolab. An aluminum, three super alloy, and two osmium. Three super alloy. An aluminum. And two osmium. Bigger question is, where exactly are we putting this? That should work. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. I'm sitting here doing all this stuff, forgetting that I don't have infinite oxygen. Okay, we have our bio lab, and I guess we could technically leave those there, but we're going to move them. Okay. Where are we going to put these? Right here. Terraformation screen. Progress screen. Food level low. Yeah, everything's low right now. Well, fortunately, that's easy to fix. There we go. We have a nice big open space for our... Alright, so we have our fertilizer recipe, which we need the algae for. Bacteria sample needs the algae. Bioplastic nugget needs mushrooms. And fertilizer needs eggplant. So I need to start growing mushrooms and eggplants. And that requires food growers. Alright, so eggplant. 
eggplant, mushroom, and mushroom. Now we have our food that we're going to need in the bio lab growing right next to the bio lab. Wow. Something that actually makes sense. I could almost put doors over this, but I guess I don't really want to. Thank you, Mr. Rocket Launching Pad, for all that uranium. <laughs> Still like that. In real life, you wouldn't catch me dead on it. So we have our sulfur. We have uranium. We have, well, not uranium. Yeah, we have uranium. We have a little osmium. We have food growing. We have plenty of food grown. As you can see. We have a good amount of oxygen. Lots of water. And we even found osmium today. Oh, and an emergency stash of space food. Well, from wondering if we were going to survive at all, we've gone to surviving quite handily. I'd say that's a good upgrade. And we're going to put down, are we going to put down one more? We could, okay. But it's going to require us to make a bird super alloy. Now we don't need fabric. All right, super alloy. Grab the other two super alloy. Grab some more water. Because I think being in this cave is making, making him extra thirsty. Put down one more of these reactors right there all right so we should have a good amount of power again i think those produce what 80 or 100 kilowatt hours 86.5 sec okay so i was close 80 And I think we have 80 left, so we should be back up to 160, 170. We've definitely made progress on the base. There's our bio lab hanging off to the side of our biodome. And, well, we'll see how far I've gotten between now and next time. Until then, bye for now.